I think what is theatrical about my writing as a novelist comes from having seen a lot of theater before I was old enough to read those 19th century novels, which was what made me want to be a novelist in the first place. I spent a lot of my childhood backstage in a theater where my mom was the prompter. I saw a lot of stuff on stage and once imagined I wanted to be a, an actor in the theater uh, before I wanted to be a writer. There was a lot I liked about the theater, which I think I carried with me into what I liked about those 19th century novels, which were very visual. What was exciting to me about the theater was that frequent artifice that became so acceptable, where the audience is invited to know enough about a situation that they are actually more informed than the characters on stage who are facing this situation. We have a kind of sense in the audience of what's going to happen to these characters on stage. While that is also true of those 19th century plotted novels, I think it's even more true in my case that I have taken foreshadow and foreknowledge what I know of it and use of it in my novels uh, from the theater. Um, it isn't just that I love dialogue or I love dramatic confrontations. I do. Um, and maybe that comes from seeing so many plays as well. But it's also that idea that I want you, the reader, like the audience at a play, to anticipate what's going to happen. And I want you to be largely right. But of course, there's always something you don't know. There's always something I've concealed from you as well. There's always something that's going to happen that you don't know is going to happen. Uh, so I think it's important in a plotted novel, at least one of mine, to invite you, the reader, to guess almost right, or to be three quarters right. Uh, and to do this very early in the story. Uh, to have an important character go missing or simply disappear so that you want that character to reappear, for example. Um, of course, as a writer, it's easier to do this if you know what happens at the end of the story before you begin. And I always do.